ahead to tonight, and we know what's on the line. I'm predicting a win, Joe. I'm predicting a win, too. Okay. It cannot go <laughs> out like team? this. The season cannot go down <laughs> like team? this tonight. Come on, come on, Rick. Of course. Sixers. A little positivity of course. Philadelphia, of this course. Philadelphia 76ers team. It is do or die for the Sixers tonight in game six against Atlanta. Sixers must win a force of game seven back home Sunday night in Philadelphia. If not, it'll be a long and painful summer. Let's not even talk about it. The Sixers, they have backed themselves into a corner after blowing big leads in back to back games against the Hawks. But Sixers coach Doc Rivers says they are resilient and they will respond tonight and force a game seven. I mean, I believe in my team. Um, so um, that's it. You get to the next game and it's a new game. Every, every game is a single game. Well, I trust my guys. For the most part, they've come through and they've played well. Um, I really believe they're going to do that. If I didn't believe that, I wouldn't have said that. You see, Doc believes, but do you? That epic Game 5 meltdown has cast a major doubt, but as a city, we've been here before. Who thought the Eagles would win the Super Bowl a few years ago? So Eagle safety Rodney McLeod, who's also a big Sixers fan, says trust the process. As a Philadelphia community, man, we had to stand behind them. You know, make sure you watching right there. Uh, I know it's a way. If you can get there, get there. If not, just be cheering as loud as you can on that TV screen, man, because we need it. So I'm looking forward to them handling business uh, at Atlanta, bringing it back here to Philly, and we're going to close it out. Let's hope so. I caught up with McLeod and his wife Erica today in University City where they're hosting a fitness challenge to raise money for Philadelphia schools. More from the McLeods and Rodney who expects to be ready for the Eagle season after knee surgery coming up at 6 o'clock. Former Sixer Al Horford, he's on the move again and going back to Boston. Blockbuster trade in the NBA today. Celtics sending all-star guard Kemba Walker plus a first and second round pick to Oklahoma City for Horford, Moses Brown, and a future second rounder. Horford barely played after the Sixers sent him to OKC last year. The Phillies are in San Francisco tonight against a familiar face, Gabe Kapler. And say what you want about the polarizing former Phillies manager, but Kapler's Giants, they have the best record in baseball. Bryce Harper is expected to return to the Phillies lineup tonight against the Giants after missing the finale in Los Angeles with a lingering back issue. Manager Joe Girardi believes Harper will be able to manage the back, which of course has been bothering him on and off since last year. And Shari and Rick, they need Harper, of course, to be healthy and to produce if this Phillies team is going to end that playoff drought. All right. Thank All you, All our Jeff. teams trying to keep it together for keep sure. Keep it together. Yeah. All right. All right, Jeff. Thanks.